Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Okayo and I'm back again this time to do another video with the one and only Tekken 101 and this time we're going to be focusing on Bleach and the amazing anime return. How awesome is that? yippee ki -yay! We're doing this! <laughs> I it's know. It's finally happening. Oh, God. It, it, it's so, like, okay, first off, let me just start by asking, like, when you found out that it was coming back, like, it was an official thing. This wasn't just, like, an April Fool's joke or whatever. Uh, how, what was your first reaction to that? Do you know what? Where the, the fact that it's been going on for, like, ages now, people saying there's going to be an anime return, and then we've always had those little hints in the issues of Shonen Jump, and it's turned out to be, like, BBS or the Bleach Jet art book, for example, but... Now that it's actually finally happening, I'm I'm really excited. Like the fun, the fact that I think it was only about a, about two years ago I finally actually finished Bleach. Because quick backstory here, I was late to the Bleach like manga. I yeah. didn't start reading the manga. I started watching the anime in like 2006. I didn't get into the anime, I mean, the manga until high school. So that's like a good three years yeah. from that. Yeah. See, so back in like 2012. Um, I knew of it through like my girlfriend's friends, like a couple of the uh, people that she went to college with uh, that actually loved it. And then, so I heard a few names, but I didn't really bother like diving into it. And then I think it was only a few years later is when I met um, my mate and uh, James Hansen, and they were talking nonstop about Bleach. So I thought, Do you know what, I'll check <laughs> it out. And yep. then basically, so I went from there and I'm not gonna lie, out of the big three, Bleach was definitely the one that took me quite a while to get into. Not because of the fact that it had a slow start, don't get me wrong, it was explosive from the start. There was some good moments with Ichigo and Rukia, but for some reason... I love, I, yeah, I got, love the I love the substitute arc. I think it's a great start to the series. Oh, yeah. it is. But when it got to the, obviously, the Soul Society, which is probably Bleach's best arc, I think we all know that. And yeah, I think I think most people would consider that to be the case. That yeah. was the heyday, yeah. It was actually Shunsui, believe it or not. Shunsui was the character that really, like, pulled me into Bleach. There was just something about the guy. I love his character design. He's just a ladies' man as well. You could see, like, <laughs> his design. He's great. Yeah. So that's um, that's I, me really. I I, I love Shun Sui. He is such the laid back kind of character that could just kick your ass in so many different ways. It's like it's like okay, he's trained for hundreds of years. He's one of the strongest Shinigami, and he's kind of aware of that. But at the same time, he's like, eh, I don't need to be this really important dude. I'm just gonna chill out most of my days. You know, if they really need me, I'll I'll step in. But eh, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I totally get that, man. It, it's it's great. When I heard about it coming back, I uh. I mean, I, 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 it ended in 2012, the anime, and then the manga in 2016, and I'm like, okay, ever since the, it ended, I've heard pretty much every year, like, this is the year of Bleach, it's gonna come back, this is the year of Bleach, it's yeah. gonna come back. And you said, like, in Shonen Jump every now and then, there'd be like, here's a Bleach announcement, and everyone gets really excited, and then it's just like, oh, Bleach Brave Souls, or oh, the the live action movie's coming out. And I'm like, I, I oh, like yeah. the live action movie, I thought it was a, as far as live action anime films go, I think it did pretty damn good, considering the other stuff you have to compare it to. Yeah, when you look um, at stuff like Attack on Titan and that, yeah, I can agree. I mean, the Bleach live action, don't get me wrong, there were some things I didn't like, like with, I think, if I remember correctly, it was Renji running away from uh Uryu when he shot well he didn't see it was Uryu but he just said oh it's a Quincy and then run and I'm like you could have easily slapped Ichigo and Uryu at oh, that point. Oh yeah oh yeah so, oh yeah there there was a there was some few inconsistencies with the movie they changed things around but overall but, I thought yeah. like the, the effects and everything the effects looked oh, good yeah. Yeah, oh yeah that oh overall it was fantastic like it was great. Yeah, I, yeah. I enjoyed it. It's alright. Um but you know and then in January of this year we get like it's not the announcement but it's the announcement that there's going to be an announcement yeah yeah you and know. I, I i remember i woke up to that and of course i'm i'm still the bleach guy in a lot of people's mind i'm sure james got a lot of emails about it too um yeah. you know because like well he still talks about bleach he still talked about bleach throughout the years i kind of like i made a bleach video every now and then but it wasn't like last year i started doing a zompocto discussion because i was like i really really want to talk about bleach in a yeah, series again I remember so that. i started to do that they, they were great by but, the way. Uh, i really enjoyed those but yeah but probably like y'all thank you uh yeah so between 2016 from when it ended to 2019 when i did the zompocto series a, a, a few videos every now and then but not that many but uh, I got a bunch of emails like, teching, this is it. This is going to be it. And I'm like, I was really kind of hesitant because I'm like, I don't know. We've been burned by this before. Exactly. But as the as the weeks went on, we got more information about it. Like, Ichigo's voice actor is going to be there. Uh, Rukia's voice actress is going to be there. The, all these people from the anime are going to be there. And they're really hyping it up to be a big, big 20th anniversary moment. And I'm like, you know what? 
this is the most official thing we've gotten since the manga ended this is pr- yeah. if it's gonna be now it's gonna be now and then it was announced and we all lost our we all lost our shit yeah yeah pretty pretty much yeah and do you know what i had this well, feeling for a while right yeah so about yeah i think it was about two two or three years ago i met johnny young bosch at the comic-con in london oh <sighs> amazing and i got into a shirt gets a Katen show over a microphone that was that was fantastic and I asked him about his favorite Ichigo moment it was to do when Ichigo went to see his mum at the grave and that and obviously went on Aww, with the fire after that yeah that's a good moment I like that so moment. that was his that was his favorite Ichigo moment so when I actually met him to get a signature he randomly brought up the anime just out of the blue and he had the <laughs> biggest grin on his face it was like he was trying to say it's coming back but he couldn't say it but he was smiling he was like yeah i really want the anime to come back you know and it's like just the way he was saying it, it was like because obviously with johnny young bosch a lot of people say he's like in with it like obviously he went to see some of the stuff for the movie and oh, yeah he's very much well, he tied was, in he, isn't he? he was the uh he dubbed the the character in the yeah, english in the, Netflix so, release of the movie yeah oh yeah he did. i love that about yes he did i i love that about johnny is that he doesn't he really genuinely loves the series and the character yeah and it's not it's not like he's jaded or anything it's not like oh god thank god bleach is over i'm done with that part of my life it's like no it's just he genuinely wants this stuff he's like as big of a fan as everybody else yeah he, wants he this loves stuff it. to come back i've never met the the guy i would love to meet him someday oh he, um, he, he's lovely mate like if you ever get the chance yeah, to meet him at a con trust me uh, do it he, you'll I mean, love him he was aside from ichigo he was uh adam the black power yes Ranger that's who i grew up that's how i grew up seeing him was like the black ranger and now he's voicing ichigo yeah. and i'm like oh my god that was it's crazy I, I, I i did get to meet jason david frank who played tommy yes, the green power yes. ranger i got to meet i got to meet him at monroeville uh pennsylvania they had the steel city con the closest i ever got to johnny though uh the elite ace i'm, I'm assuming you know who that is yes um yeah a few uh years back uh, this was still when bleach was still like in the manga at least He's like, hey, I'm going to Yumacon, and Johnny Young Bosch is going to be there. You want me to get his autograph for you? And I'm like, ah, uh, y- y- yes. And uh, I have, I still have it on my little mirror over here. It's uh, a little, it's a hollow Ichigo postcard with a signed, like, Johnny Young Bosch Bonkai. But that's the closest I've ever gotten. I hope to get to see him someday. Yeah, I've got a, well, the picture that I've got, um, I haven't got it on me. I'll see if I can find it. Maybe I can just sort of, like, put it in this video. But uh, it's a Ichigo, like, uh, A4 print. And it's got like every single form that Ichigo has. Well, not every single form, oh, but like the main one. Yeah. So when he went against all Kiora, Soul Society, Fallbring, of course it doesn't have Faz in your blood war on it because, well, it's not been animated yet. But when it does get animated, when he does come back, I'm going to get like an hopefully an updated one, even if it's just like Shikai Ichigo on his own or, you know, yeah. Bunkai or, you Sweet, know, Horn yeah. Salvation, whichever I- one. I did get uh, Michelle Ruff's autograph. I didn't meet her last year. Oh, nice. What's she like? When I went to Teco. Okay, so when I met her, um, I... Okay, so we were at Teco, and this is in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I don't know how... I mean, you've been to conventions before, and you live near London, so you probably know what it's like. Yeah. When you have the big... when When you have the big names like that... The line is out the ass. It is super oh, yes. long. Yes, that is and true. And so I've been to Teco for, like, this was my fourth time. I've never got to meet and get an autograph because it's like I, I, I have to either wait in line for like two to three hours or I could just, you know, not get their autograph. So I usually skip it. And I saw Michelle Ruff was there this year. And I'm like, man, that'd be great to get her autograph. But I don't think I don't want to wait in line for like two, three hours. And we're getting there later in the day. So, um... I'm like halfway through the con and I got like this, uh, like the upgraded pass. Like I got yeah. like a, like there's different levels of badges. I didn't even know this, but I'm looking at like the, the, um, the schedule and everything. And I see on the schedule, it says Michelle Ruff general autographs. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Well I can't do that. And then right under that, I see at five o'clock, she's doing like a private one for just the elite badges. I'm like, Oh, I don't have wait, 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 no. Yes, I do. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, Holy shit. So I, I kid you not. I just walk into this. There's like her main autograph signing was in the big giant exhibition hall. And then the second one was just in this tiny little side room. I just walk in there and there's like 20 people lined up and I got in line and then she showed up and I like, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes in line, maybe a little longer than that. And then boom, got her autograph. Um, that's, that's awesome. I, 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 I so didn't want to be an idiot though. I didn't want to say something stupid. Yeah. Like, Oh my God, I've loved Rukia so much. So she came in and I could tell she just got done with like a three hour autograph signing. She was, she was whipped. She was tired. I could tell. 
Um, so we got up to the front and I just, uh, I just thank you for being Rookie and everything. You know, it's a big, it means a lot. And then she's like, thank you so much, Matt. And then she, I, she asked for my name and, uh, she signed some stuff for me and a friend. And I got her also to sign, if you ever played Persona 5. Yes, yes. Well, I haven't played I, it, but I've, pl- I've basically, one of my friends has it. So she, yeah. she plays, she plays one of your confidants in the game. So I had like a tarot card to sign. So I got that. But uh, yeah, she was pretty tired, so I just was like, okay, okay, cool. I got I got an autograph from her, but yeah. Yeah, well, just so yeah, d- yeah. Just before we actually uh, get on to obviously the Faz in your blood war, what we're expecting, yeah, what yeah. we're most excited about. I do understand where you're coming from in like the sense of you don't want to sort of fumble or you don't want to seem like an idiot when you actually meet a voice actor. I know exactly what that's like because I've met quite a few people. I've met Todd Habercorn. Um, Ooh, cool, cool. I've met Lucy, uh, Lucy, Lucy's uh, dub <laughs> voice actor. Uh, Jason, I can't pronounce his last name. I think it's like. Oh Liberate. yeah, yeah. I don't remember his last name, but I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, obviously John, yeah. Johnny Young Bosch. Um, yeah. I've also uh, met Vic Mignogna as well. There's quite a few yeah. like uh, characters I've actually met. I, so uh, yeah, I, like, I know exactly I, what it's like. I, I I just I feel like okay they've met like literally thousands and thousands of fans over the years so everything I could say they've probably already heard like a million times before oh, yeah. me so so there's no like I could say thank you for so everything I'm a number one fan I'm like they've probably heard that every day oh, for the yeah. last two ten years but anyway 100%. so anyway yeah let's let's get into talking about I I can't wait I'm sure Johnny and Michelle will come back for the English dub oh hundred percent the Japanese yeah Mori Tasan and everybody's gonna come back for the Japanese that's already confirmed but I'm just so hyped they can get the same voice cast it's gonna be great yeah I think the only difference i think is it uh yamamoto's voice actually yeah passed yeah away, wasn't so he it? yeah he passed away a few years back um but yamamoto does have a new voice actor for yes. uh, brave souls yes yeah. so i don't know if they're just gonna i don't know if they're just gonna directly translate over to other also yuha the main villain he also has a voice yeah he has a voice actor in the brave souls i don't know if they're just gonna take them from that or what's gonna go down but uh, we'll see yes yeah, it's, it's most likely what's gonna happen i mean regardless yeah. at the end of the day I'm gonna watch it in sub and dub, like, cause oh, yeah. I, I'm yeah, I'm I'm excited. I've been excited for ages. I mean, okay, yeah, I haven't really put really any bleach content out on my channel. I've got like two BBS videos where I did summons, mm-hmm. and I got really really lucky on that. I got like four Shikai Ichigos. Oh, good then job. On the other two, I got like Yuha, Kisuke, and Ichigo in like one after the other. It was crazy. Did you just see that uh, Asuka Naklevar and Bambietta yes, Bam- and Candice all yes. had? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, Bambietta, Bambietta and Candice are cool, but I, I can't. I, I, I loved hearing uh, Askin's voice. I'm like, yes, this is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I guess, um, yeah, I might as well ask you first. What are you most yeah. excited about for the Thousand Year Blood War? I, I get this question a lot. There's just so many awesome moments in this arc. Um, like. Uh, just since I mentioned Askin, he's my favorite Stern Ritter, so I'm really pumped for every Askin scene. And I know it's not toward the end of the, it's not until the end of the arc, yeah. but Askin versus Kisuke. And I'm also kind of holding out hope because that was kind of near the end, and it's kind of hard to tell when Kubo really had to like hurry this along. But I feel like looking at that final battle between Askin and Uehara, that could have been at at least the ending of it could have been expanded upon a little bit. But yeah. that fight was really good. I can't wait for that one. Rukia's fight with uh, Asnote and her Bankai, of course, that's a big moment. But there's just so many really good ones. Like, I'm not a big fan of Gremmy, Sternrider V, because I thought he was a little, like, little shit, honestly. Oh, really? But a lot, he a lot summoned like a... Him. He, uh, I don't. I I found his power. His power was interesting. I just found his yeah. character annoying. Oh, fair Because, you enough. know, whatever. But he summoned a giant meteor, and then Kenpachi sliced it. So I, I can't wait to see that animated. Oh, yeah. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> it's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. Yeah. Yo, yeah. What about you? Uh, well, like we said before this video, Shunsui, like Shunsui mm. versus uh, mm-hmm. X Axis or Li- Lily Barrow or Lil Barrow, however you pronounce that. Is it Lily uh, Barrow? I think it's Lilia. I-, I kept saying Lil- Lily, and I think it's a Lilia is what people told me it was. Yeah. Oh well, they they know the fight. The viewers know who it is. But yeah, f- yeah, I just roll with it. Yeah. Dude. Whatever sounds cooler. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> what I'm looking forward to is seeing Shunsui's bunkai in action, like the different oh, stages. God. Like, you know how it's like the first, then it's like the second part, then it's like the finale. It's yeah, like a stage yeah. show. Even isn't in it? the manga even in the manga, it was like he rushed through the first three in like one chapter. I'm like, oh, you could you could devil because the anime, I don't know if they're gonna like drag things out a bit. Not even dragging things out, but just building on it a little more. I have hope time to like soak it up like he uses like the first one where uh they share wounds with each other like we share wounds now we uh have this disease now we go underwater i'm like okay you could you could expand each of those a little bit that's just like rushing into each other you know oh yeah 
I mean, but uh, it's an amazing bankai. I love it. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I really hope that obviously now that the manga's over with, and of course Kubo had to, you sort of, you know, like rush to finish like the second half of it. So I'm hoping that yeah. now it's all finished, that Kubo like works with whichever studio it is, because we still don't know which studio it is. Like, no, so, we don't. That wasn't revealed yet. Yeah. So whoever it is, I'm hoping that Kubo could maybe be like, okay, so this is what I originally wanted to do. So like, you know, you know yeah. how they do with like the One Piece anime, for example, how Oda will do so many bits when the anime comes, they're sort of add on to it sort of thing so i'm kind of hoping that yeah. they'll do that with bleach yeah i'm hoping like for better or worse with one piece they do it with one piece because it's like the manga is so like they have to like keep the manga ahead uh so a lot of times they might drag out an episode much to the viewers chagrin but I, I think with bleach this could work with kubo like if he's actually working with the animation studio and being like like people have asked me like are they just going to animate it straight from the manga or are they going to add on stuff i'm like they would be stupid to animate it directly from the manga if you saw that train wreck of an ending all right like yeah. it, i mean it was okay like it wasn't a complete train wreck but you could tell there's a point and it's like right around chapter 680 where kubo hits the gas pedal and he's mm -hmm. like oh okay all, all this is over and now we're going to this i'm like whoa like that final battle with yuha should have been way way more drawn out than what it was uh oh, with yeah. aizen and everybody like that was like rushed as hell so Kubo definitely was going to be working with the, the company and they'd be like, hey, listen, this is what I needed. This is what I intended this to be. It would be stupid to be like rush the manga and then have the anime just do the exact same thing. That would be stupid, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I mean, because to be fair, we didn't really get to see Ichigo's true like bunkai. No, we only got. No, we, we did. We didn't. We really didn't. <laughs> no. And that's just such a shame because that was one thing I was really looking forward to, especially when you got someone like Yuha Buck, who's here who's like basically like just slamming everyone even ichigo yeah. during that final fight ichigo was yeah. just trying everything and it was only just till it took aizen to come it, in it aizen was so cool because it was so cool when ichigo was like i've mastered my hollow powers now yeah and then we get like two chapters with those and they don't really come up the rest of the series because it's like the remaining 10 chapters like i i can have i have hollow powers now and then it's like, oh, we have to hurry up and rush this through. I'm like, oh, okay, that yeah, sucks. But all right. Like... Didn't really get to see fully what you could do with that, but okay. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, the, the other thing I'm looking forward to is Aizen. Gotta love Aizen. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Well... So much more Aizen. Just give us so much more yeah. Aizen in this, please. Welcome yeah. to my welcome to my soul society. Yes! It's like, welcome to my soul society. We have to hurry up and do two chapters of a fight, but welcome to my soul society. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the dude's like sitting um... in a chair, isn't he? <laughs> yeah yeah he just sits in a chair and yuha breaks him out of it and then they start fighting there's that scene where uh aizen uses like the highest level hado like hado 99 and it's yeah. like this five ring giant dragon he summons and it's like oh man oh. this is crazy yeah have you have you seen that in jump falls though no uh yeah yeah i've seen like the clips of it and all that stuff yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just... i've never played jump force no no i'd like it it just awesome. feels like yeah it just feels like kubo what he did was he had like a general script of everything he wanted to do with the final battle. Then he gets the phone call from Shonen Jump or his editor or whatever and be like, yeah, you have like six weeks to wrap this up. And then Kubo looked at his list and he's like, all right, guess I'm slashing it down to the bare minimum of what I want to show. And then that's it. That's really what it felt like. Yeah, um, it really did. I mean, to be fair though, like apart from the way it ended, it had a great start though, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah like, well, the anime so. in general or the Thousand Year Blood War? The Thousand Year Blood War, like, the way yeah. that well, yeah. was introduced. Aside from, aside from those two random Shinigami that were there for really no reason, Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, which, I mean, like, look, in the anime, all I can say is, like, look, either do something with those characters or just omit them, you know? Like, because those characters show up and it's, like, uh, Ryunosuke and Shino, and... I don't know if it was set up like they were going to be like Ichigo's protégés at one point. Like yeah. Ichigo was going to teach them stuff or they were going to do something. They don't do anything. They don't even show up after like the first 10 chapters of the arc. Um, have you seen Retro Rhino's like first episode of the uh, Thousand yes. Year Blood War? Yes, yes, yeah. I have. Yeah, he just he just omitted those characters and it was honestly perfectly fine. Yeah. But um, yeah, I love the opening of it in terms of like introducing. I think the Quincy's had a pretty good introduction. You get to see this creepy castle, the Silburn, and this shadow dimension, and there's mm -hmm. Yuwa there, and I'm like, I'm the Quincy God. I'm like, whoa, okay, this is cool. Um, and then Hashwalt's there and everything. It's just, I feel like we didn't get as much backstory for the Stern Ritters that we should have. That's something I'm also hoping we get more of. We get backstory with uh, Basby and Hashwalt and Asnote and a few of them, but overall, I think we need to get more of like 
you know, the whole thing about the Quincy's, like, what was their battle like a thousand years ago with uh, Yamamoto and stuff? Like, we get hints yeah. at it, but we don't get to see the full thing. Yeah. Yeah, because obviously we got um, the full backstory with Ichigo's mum. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, which is awesome. I love that. Yeah, I that, that was a, that was a good backstory. That was like ten chapters. I mean, not ten chapters, around ten chapters. That was a solid one. I like that. Yeah, that was really good. Also, the other thing I want to see as well is Yamamoto's bunkai. Oh, oh god, yeah, oh, that's, gonna, that's gonna be epic. Yeah, just, that's gonna be so epic to see that. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be great. Also, Zang Zanka no Tachi. Oh god. Also, seeing um, Grim Jail coming back. That's gonna be another good thing. As yeah, well. yeah. Something else that he basically just pops up and gets defeated by Asuka and then comes back to defeat him later and that's all we got in the anime hopefully that's that's the that's the part at the end of the Kisuke and Asuka fight that I'm hoping they have more with Grim Zhao and Nelio because yes. in the manga it's just like oh yeah Grim Zhao shows up rips out Asuka's heart and then Nell saves them and we don't even get to see the we, like th that's so weird like the last chapter of Bleach we don't even get to see Uohara or Yoroichi in the last chapter of Bleach that's so weird yeah I know, you know? like literally in, in the la I know everyone's gonna say like light novels light novels I, I, I know it's expanded on the light novels but the manga and the anime that's like the core series that's what I want to see them you know like what happened with them you know yeah like literally when you was talking about Grim Joe and that and like saying more I was literally doing like fingers crossed going like please yes cause... yeah please do something cool Grim Joe and he did but it's not as much as I would have wanted yeah because um, he's still, he's still, a, but he's still a big fan favourite though isn't he Oh yeah, everyone loves Grim Zhao. Yeah, yeah, Grim Zhao and Ukiora are the two big Espada that everybody discusses over. I'd say maybe Ukiora is a little bit more popular than him, yeah. but Grim Zhao's still really up there. Oh, of course. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, about the... Uh, what, what, here's the question. When do you think it's going to be released? Because they say 2021. That could be... Uh... You know, I think a lot of... I think, I, th I think people wanted it to be like... Because the announcement was late March. They wanted it to be like March 2021. I'm like, well, it could be November 2021. I have no, it could. They might, they might delay it because of what's going on. Yeah, in the world that's right that's now. exactly yeah. what I was going to bring up with the whole like virus and everything that's going on. And obviously, One Piece is on like hiatus right now. Yeah, like every yep. anime is on hiatus. Uh, so Burn the yep. Witch that was supposed to come out this year, wasn't it? If I remember correctly, and uh, the Burn the Witch. Okay, so couple of things with burn the witch first off it's it's not going to be an anime it's going to be a movie and that oh, was yeah, supposed to OVA, come out in the it? yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's an ova it's a movie that's going to come out in the fall was supposed to and then the burn the witch manga was supposed to be like a short it's not like even kubo said like it's not going to be as long as like not even nearly as long as bleach maybe a few volumes yeah. of burn the witch manga but that'll be in the summer so yeah no idea on how that's going to work now if that's going to happen yeah so I believe as well, like with the streams, I think they're going to do more, weren't they, for the Bleach one? Because that was just, I think that was just the opening one, and I think as it was going to yeah, gradually gone, it's going to be more. Yeah, I think they said they opened a uh, well, Kubo, and I'm pulling it up now. Kubo had his Twitter changed over to like the official one, uh, not One Piece. Yeah, Kubo has the official One Piece Twitter. Yeah, That's imagine weird. that. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah, he has it, it, Kubo's Twitter is the Taito Kubo official is now the Bleach 20th anniversary yeah. Twitter where all the new announcements. There's been nothing new. Um, the the newest thing that he did was actually cool. He drew an image of Ichigo and his son, uh, Kazui. Yes, I like, saw just that. Hanging out, yeah, hanging out for the coronavirus and just being like, just stay home. So that was pretty cool that he drew that. But um, yeah, no, no no other new information since the initial piece of information on march 21st yeah because um, i think it was rumored that kubo was supposed to be at that stream wasn't it but then for some reason he couldn't make it and so that's why there was um, that uh, letter that yeah i don't uh I, I i remember hearing that i don't know if that was true or not um but yeah he drew like little notes and stuff in there and he's like uh yeah we're working on casting for the stern Ritters the other day and we were working with so that's good i'm glad kubo was involved in that process and everything like they're not just um because at the end of the day, the anime company, like whoever's doing it, they they have the rights, so they can do it. Kubo's a consultant, but I'm glad Kubo's like hands on here and he's involved in like picking the voice actors and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And I think the good thing about Bleach is, is the fact that it's been so many years. Like, when did the anime end? What was it? Twelve? Two thousand twelve? March? March two thousand twelve. March two thousand twelve, yep. and they do the stream like in March. <laughs> wow, how great! How great is that? Eh? But no, at the end of the it's... at the end of the day, it's. It's great to see it finally coming back after all these years. I mean, it's just been too long. I knew, uh, I, I kind of always knew in the back of my mind, like, because I knew Bleach is popular. Yeah, we know. It that. might not have been as pop. It might not have been as popular as it used to be back in its heyday, but especially in the West, it has a really loyal fan base. It does. Um, I'm, I'm in Japan, they do too. I'm not saying they don't. I just think it's more popular in the West. Yeah. Um, 
yeah and even kubo's like he's you know visited you know like uh san diego comic-con i think before um yeah you know, the, he was new york and stuff and he was supposed to be new york also he was supposed to be uh one in italy i think it was last year or the year before but something came up and he couldn't make it uh that that sucks but yeah um so I, I I figured it might do like a Inuyasha thing because Inuyasha had the original anime and then like six years later they had the final act like the final arcs. I'm like okay it might might be something like that but you know it might be years and it was eight years but the fact like it was so surreal when I finally saw that information I was making the video and I just had the video like it's back I'm like I can't believe I'm actually finally making this video yeah. it's I, it's so weird that I'm actually doing this now and it's for legit, um, but yeah. Yeah, it's so this is gone. this is the chance this is the chance to fix some stuff at the end of the manga but yep. overall i think it's like it deserves to have the story finished it deserves to have all of this animated it does it, re and, it really um, does it's part well obviously it's a western thing but it's it's part it's class is one of the big three you obviously you got one piece and yeah also bleach yeah and it still does it's still in a lot of, of people's course. minds it was yeah yeah i mean when you look at it obviously what how can I say? What back when obviously the anime was still going for obviously until it comes back, but when it was still ongoing, obviously it was always Naruto and Bleach. They were the two most popular ones in the West alongside Dragon Ball. One Piece sort of only really it was more in the sort of the shadows, wasn't it? But it's always been more bigger in like yeah. Japan and such. But obviously now One Piece is getting its shine. But do you know what? The one thing it's been like bugging well not really bugging me, but it's kind of been sad is the fact that Luffy's currently been standing like on his own from those at uh, the big three because obviously naruto's finished but obviously bleach didn't get sent like yeah. it's, it's finished anime but now that it's coming back it feels nice to at least have two of the big three and that's not to crap on like my hero black clover or any of the new shows that are coming out but it's it's just i'll tell you what it is it's just we grew up with exactly those. and so it's like it's 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 a total like more nostalgia thing but it's like yeah because i remember being in my high school computer lab in like sophomore year reading like Naruto fighting Pain and Ichigo fighting Ukiora and uh, you know One Piece. I think Impel Down Marine Ford was going around. Like this was like 2010, 2011. Yeah. Um, I mean a little, a little, a little earlier than that, but uh, like 2009. But um, that was like what this was like prime. This is like you can't get better than this. Oh, like this yeah. is amazing, right? Um, and so yeah, Naruto ended and you got Boruto now. I'm not really a fan of Boruto. Yeah, I don't same. really read it or watch it. Yeah. Um you know, not to shit on anyone that does. Of course. Just, honestly, the end of Naruto, like I've said this before, like a lot of passion just got drained out of me by the end of that story. Like I want to say the last 100 chapters of that, I read it every week, but it's just like eh. Um and then, you know, One Piece I'm obviously still way into and Bleach and it's just like, okay, bleach deserved i think a little bit better than that like it deserved like a decent like like let kubo at least end it the way he wanted to end it you know and i i think i think being rushed it was like i think kubo if you give him an extra 20 chapters from where he was rushed i think he could have wrapped this up just fine just give him an extra 20 i know it's a business so it's like okay look it's a business the numbers aren't coming in we want to push other manga you need to wrap this up you need to get this out of here we have we have like the promised neverland we want to push and everything and i love the promised neverland um that came that came out like right when Bleach ended, uh, which it's about actually ready to end too. The story is about coming to the end, and it's a really good one. But uh, yeah, it, it it Bleach deserved better. It did. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. I'm just I'm just so did happy. Did you read? Uh, oh, go ahead. No, it's, I was basically just I'm just I'm just I'm I'm excited. Like it's yeah. it's made me go back on because I'll be honest, I did uh, delete Bleach Brave Souls because I didn't know what they were gonna do with it after. I didn't know if they were gonna bring any of the stern writer into it or just seeing where it's gonna go. But it's kind of yeah. Like, when that was uh, when that was first released, I was like, oh, so are they gonna do Thousand Year? And they're like, eventually. And then they do now, and I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. So it, you know, it made me download it back, and I've had a go with like all the new you know characters that I once had, and then even on Jump Force, we've been playing a bit more of the older Bleach characters, and it's like what we're seeing now, we're eventually going to be seeing. Yeah. In the anime, and yeah, I'm I'm really excited for it to come back. Like I'm I'm happy, and I'm I'm gonna be doing I'm a reaction. Planning to do. Oh, you're doing reactions. Oh, of course. I'm planning a po I'm planning a bleach themed podcast. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people are like, "Are you gonna do this the same way you did uh, the reviews?" And I'm thinking, well, see, it might be a bit redundant to do it in the exact same way because I already talked about all those chapters in this format. So it'd be I, I would I would probably just it would probably just feel like doing the exact same thing all over again. 
Uh, so I, I wanted to come up with another process of this. So I thought, let, let's do like podcast format. Like every week we talk about like the episode in length, like an hour talking about the comparisons to the manga and the, the cool stuff that happens. I think we could do yeah, that. Yeah, that's that's kind of... And, and, and if I do that, if I do that, I can have guests on. So you could be like a guest in that if you wanted to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd be. I'd definitely be damn man. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. the thing is, I always said, like, I'm glad I started YouTube when I did, but there's some part of me that wished I'd done it before because then mm. maybe I could have got into Bleach a little bit earlier than what I did. But in a way, I'm kind of thankful because... Even though Azuna has been a couple of years, it's for me it hasn't been that long, if you know what I mean. Like yeah. with the anime, so at least this sense of like, okay, yeah, it feels like it's been a while, but it's not been yeah, a it, long time compared it, to it, like the long-term Bleach fans like yourself, like James Hansen, and like loads of other like dedicated Bleach fans. It's all been so long for you guys that it's probably just been sitting there like, oh, wait to come back. I I, uh, I envy the people that are like just getting into Bleach right now. Like, eh, I thought about it every now and then. I guess because if like if you start watching the anime right now, then by the time the 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 you know the Thousand Year Blood War gets animated next year, it'll be like super fresh in your mind. Yeah, it's like uh, what so, what's her name? Super Mecha Freezer. Obviously, she started. Uh, one yeah. piece and now she's doing bleach so it'd be fine for someone like her because you know she yeah. she doesn't do like bleach every single day or one piece every day she'll sort of like do different series so it's kind of like she's sort of given herself enough time for when she does and well she's i think she's just finished the ichigo eisman fight from what i remember so she hasn't got too yeah. far to go but at least no uh not not that much honestly and uh well they the ichigo eyes and fight at the end of uh, karakura then yeah she only has one arc yeah she's only got full bring so um, yeah but, yeah full bring and also this is the best time to do it because uh you know they're they're obviously i think i think it's on netflix is uh bleach i think that i think netflix has it might be hulu but yeah, i think it's netflix i'm not too um, i know they took it down but i'm uh, and then they've put it back they up, did? I think. yeah uh, I, yeah I, I don't know I don't know, but anyway, I'm like, because you got the full sub and you got the full dub now. Yeah. Like, because when I was watching it, I had to like slog through like, okay, well that was really cool. I hope Ichigo and Ukiora fight, and I have to sit through a sixty freaking cha- uh, sixty episode filler arc until we get back to that. <laughs> now listen, I liked I liked some of the filler arcs. The Bount arc I think was pretty good. The Amagai arc was, and the Zanpakuto arc was really good. Um, it it dra- they all the filler arcs drag at a certain point. I feel like all the bleach filler arcs could be at least shorter, and they get their message across just fine. Yeah. Um, but it would be so nice now if you're just starting bleach to be like, okay, you could watch all of the canon of the anime that syncs up with the manga, yeah. and you could just skip. You could skip over all the fillers, and if you want to go back and watch the bounce arc, if you want to go back and watch Zanpakuto, you can do that. But you don't have to. You're not required to sit there every week yeah. like I had to. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> for me, I'll admit I skipped all of the filler, but the bounce arc because I didn't know. I didn't. I'll be honest, because obviously I didn't read the manga, so I I, I didn't know. So I you didn't know it's fine. Yeah, so I sat and watched the whole of the ban arc, and don't get me wrong, I know some people like it, a lot of people actually hate it. There were some bits that I really did like, um, but for the most part, I wasn't too fond of it. So mm. yeah, it wasn't it wasn't amazing, but it wasn't like crap. It was still pretty decent. Yeah, you know, it's like I've even gotten that perspective from a lot of people. I remember people uh, they'll still message me and be like, "Yeah, I didn't even know the Bount arc was filler. I just watched it because it was on exactly, the anime. Exactly. And you weren't reading. You're not you're not, re- you're not reading the manga at that point, so it just bleeds right into it. Yeah. And um, uh, I know some people that have fond memories of it and be like, I actually really enjoy that arc. Yeah. How come the bounce don't come back? How come the bounce aren't mentioned after this arc at all? I'm like, because it wasn't canon. Yeah. Um, but hey, man, that was a long. It was like. 50 yeah closer to closer to 60 episodes it was a lot i think that's what uh put a lot of people like not off of bleach but like off of that arc because it was just so long and obviously it happens the same thing with um naruto there's a lot of filler in that if you look at oh if you look at bleach and naruto they've got a lot of filler and the one thing they do the one thing i do respect about one piece is when they do have filler it's not that long it's probably what 10 episodes max maybe oh it's not even okay so back in the early days of one piece they did have a lot more filler arcs like the there was the um what warship that, that island? dragon filler yeah. in the east blue yeah warship island yeah that one so that was before one piece started to become like a world phenomenon like yeah. they knew it was something really really big then around like 10 years in they start noticing like holy crap this is an insanely popular story this is making a bunch of money we need to keep this as like canon as possible. So now whenever you get fillers, it's usually only like three or four episodes maximum, or it's a movie tie-in. 
because they'll do the movie connections yeah. like film uh films uh, stampede just came out so they had like a two episode ova for just Stampede. they did but uh, other than that other than that they don't do fillers well, very often they've done it with um with all of the uh films apart from they did the Z Z Ambition arc, didn't they, for films? Yeah, all of the most, all of the big yeah. ones. So like the big film box gold. office ones, from Strong World to Strong World, Film Z, Film Gold, and Stampede, all have like a f- movie tie-in filler. Yeah, because you, you um, had uh, Heart of Gold, didn't you? It was like a TV special. Yeah, Heart of Gold was the OVA. That actually, I, I actually recommend anybody that hasn't seen it go watch that, Heart of that Gold. Was really You'll good. love it. It's amazing. It was really good. The animation, the animation is incredible in that. I love that that the company that did that. Yeah, that was that um, was a great build up. I will say that. But I'll tell you what, the, I'll tell you a difference between Naruto and Bleach, yeah, though, it, is that, yeah, they they both have a lot of filler. Bleach, though, tends to cluster their filler together in these giant arcs. So you'll come to, like, you know, 60 episodes of canon, and then 50 episodes of filler, and then, like, another 50 episodes of canon, kind of like that. Naruto sprinkles it like icing on a cake or like 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 sprinkles on a cake or whatever it's like you'll have like two episodes canon one episode filler three episodes canon four episodes filler and it's just like you have to consult a chart to figure out like okay i have to skip this episode and then watch these two and then skip this one and then watch these three oh god it gets super bad in shippuden just something i've noticed about filler and uh yeah naruto is really rough in that situation it's it, it makes it difficult to sit down and just like i just want to sit down and watch naruto canon you, you can't do that because every episode you might hit filler yeah you know yeah nah do you know what the one filler that i did really like from uh shippuden was the yeah, one i with, mean there, there's a few i like yeah what was his name the bubble one i forgot his name uh, 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 utakata yeah utakata, I actually, who's the I actually, six tails i like that yeah, one yeah i like, I like that, that one, one a lot yeah. and do you know i love his jutsu bubble jutsu i think it's awesome yeah i love that one because it's, like, focused on characters that we care about. Like, let's find out about the other Jinchuriki. I'm like, good. That's awesome. Um, and then you, then every every now and then you'll get one where they flash back to when they were, like, 12 years old. And there's the ninja ostrich. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's super relevant to the story. I'm glad we cut away from the giant war we've been having to see the ninja ostrich again for, like, the fifth time. That's great. Yeah, no, that's <laughs> good. But I do, me, me, myself, I do need to go over the bleach uh, filler. I have heard good things about the Zanpakuto arc. Yeah, it, that's a good one because uh, Kubo himself actually sat down and designed all the different spirits and what they would look like. And the villain Muramasa, he's he's pretty terrifying in his own right. I liked him. He's like a vampire. Yeah. I like him. I've seen all the movies. I've seen all the Bleach movies. Yeah. Um, I did like Hell. What's your favorite? Hellverse was good, but I think my favorite one would have to be the very first one with Senna. Okay, memories of That's nobody. That's the one. All yeah, right, yeah, I really enjoyed that I, if, one. If I, uh, if you were gonna say Diamond Dust Rebellion, I'm like, uh, no. I've okay, seen that, everybody but no. has their own opinion. <laughs> but my favorites would be, yeah, Fade to Black. Oh yes. Uh, oh uh, my God, Fade to Black. Yes, with Rukia, of course. Yeah, that's my favorite, of course. Um, it's okay. It, I would honestly put Memories of Nobody and Hellverse in the same spot. I really hesitate to say that Hellverse is way, way better than Memories because I really like both of those. Yeah. Memories is just really emotional. Hellverse is just badass. Um, and then you get the then Diamond Dust Rebellion for me would be my my least favorite because yeah. that's that. But that movie that movie was just made because it's like who's the most popular character in Bleach right now? It's Toshiro. All right, well Toshiro, you get yourself your own movie. I'm like, all right, it's okay, but not my favorite yeah he he has a big fan base doesn't he though like he's yeah he, well huge. yeah he did like at, at one point he was even more big than like the rest of the characters like even ichigo he was like number one oh, in yeah. a lot of polls i heard so that's no, no doubt why he got his own movie it's just that i wished i wish we would have gotten like a mayori movie <laughs> like an entire movie on him oh, oh my yeah. god that would be the, it'd be rated x for one thing and oh, second 100%. is like yeah yeah <laughs> You you have to be you have to be twenty one plus and you have to sign a waiver to go watch this. Oh, but I'd be yeah. like, okay, all right, we'll watch that. I know exactly what scene just popped into my head because of that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's so many. There's so many of them. <laughs> yeah, he's great. He's great. But um, I think before uh, we wrap the video up, I suppose the yeah, one person yeah. that you did bring up, Toshiro. You looking mm. for you looking forward to seeing him as a zombie. S- yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, oh well, maybe yeah. As a zombie, that'd be interesting. But I, I'll be, I'll be, I mean, I'll be straight up with you. I don't hate Toshiro. 
Um, you know, I just, I'm not a fan of that type of character. Like the, I'm the, like the pretty boy kind of character that all the, like the fangirls swoon yeah. over. I'm not like super into that. Uh, I can't judge because anytime I see Ron Giku, I'm like boobs. So, you know, it's Good like, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, but I will say, I will say, yeah, that final battle between Gerard when Toshiro goes in his ad sexy adult form and he's got like the ice armor that he was wearing, like the ice shoulder pads, and then he does like the four seasons freeze and like just he just lifts up his hand and just freezes Gerard solid. I'm like, okay, that's badass. I'm not gonna say that's not badass just because I'm not a fan of the character. That's yeah. amazing. I love that. Yeah. Um, I do wish they would have just like, okay, he's an adult now, just keep him like that. But then he regresses back to a child. I'm like, I don't know why you have to keep to and that. Just just keep him. That that way he's cooler that way just there you go uh yeah, you know. there is one other thing i do want to bring up i can't believe i actually nearly forgot yeah. this it's only because when we mentioned no, Toshiro, i thought of jump force now yeah in jump force he's not wearing the nazi outfit do you think that's going to be a big thing in the anime or do you think bleach is just going to be bleach and not care because oh. obviously not to yeah, well, I'm gonna see, say I'm not gonna yeah, say it anyway, that... but there's a lot of sensitive people out there nowadays. They get like, oh yeah, well, also mm. and and also, you know, the whole thing with Japan at one point being being part of the Axis, you know, that also uh, back in the day. Um, yeah, I don't know how they're gonna handle that. Uh, really, now I've seen like um, like Helsing Ultimate, which was like a really really amazing mm. uh anime and uh, there's there's they they just keep all the nazi imagery in that like it's all over the place uh because it, it, that's the whole point like they're fighting like the nazis in that in that in the manga it's not like directly they don't have like the swastika or anything it's all different symbols but the quincy's are based on german exactly. like culture and there's a big and they're the bad guys so there's an and they're like a militarized unit that's based from germany so there's a lot of Nazi and, like, Third Reich aesthetic going on with their designs and with their outfits. Um, but there's still no symbol that's, like, they don't actually have the Nazi symbol. So I don't know if they're going to actually change anything with the outfits or anything. I don't see why they would have yeah, to. Yeah, I, I, um, I think the main reason why yeah. I brought it up is because of Jump Force and the way that, obviously, the, outf the outfit was just changed back to his normal captain's outfit. So huh. that's the only Weird. that's the only reason. And the the other that's the big maybe thing. Maybe they may, maybe with Jump Force they just didn't want to design a whole new outfit for him to wear in the game. I don't know. Yeah, I've never played. It's, it. It's not an issue because it is an outfit, but it's obviously because where, as I said, like I don't mean to sound harsh here, but where's a lot of people that are quite sensitive towards certain things. Oh like, yeah, absolutely. You saw yeah, the whole thing are. with yeah. my hero with that one character. Was it Maruta? I believe his name was the uh yeah uh it was the doctor i forget yeah. uh i used to know his name when this whole thing was going on and then i blanked on his name right now yeah uh but yeah he changed the name at the end of the day it was just a name but yeah i get what you're yeah meaning. Like, that's um, what i mean that's all, I, i'm wondering if people might get a bit too annoyed being like oh i can't believe bleach is doing stuff with like the whole german Nazis. you know how people just like to tie stuff in so yeah yeah i just I, want I your know, opinion really like uh, do you think they'll change it or? the only thing okay well i'll tell you one thing they might change uh is like there's no direct like they do make references to stuff like that but probably the most um, overt one is the elite sternritter are called the shoot stoffel yeah. which is an actual thing that existed um they might change that but it's not like they like i said as long as they're not like like flying the swastika places and stuff and once again they're the bad guys so uh i i don't know i don't think they're going to change much but they might have to make a few censorships there and there uh but I don't think it's going to be anything that's really going to hurt them. Yeah. Um, I uh, I was even, because some people were asking about the soundtrack, like teching, what do you think? Because obviously the Bleach soundtrack, but what soundtrack could they do for the Sternwriter? And I'm thinking, honestly, if you take like old World War II, like marching songs and you make that, like you like don't just use those, but take those as an inspiration and make a soundtrack yeah. based around that, that would, that would really fit. You could see that, like the Sternwriter marching across Waco Mundo with like that kind of music playing in the background. You could kind of, because that's what they're based on. Yeah, yeah, no, um, that, that makes sense total sense actually thinking about that yeah, yeah but i don't know if they're gonna do it or not and see how they go with it well we'll, we'll see though yeah uh, i mean I, I think there could probably could be some sort of really cool like or was it orchestra types stuff if you know what i mean like mm -hmm. the, the way they do mm -hmm. like really intense battles and i think that might go well so i'm looking forward to that and obviously Absolutely. number one as well got to have that in there can't have oh not yeah have i hope thing. we get a new i hope we get like the original bleach soundtrack like invasion and treachery and everything but i really hope we do get remixed versions yeah. of like oh uh, like number one and everything because we we get like remixed versions of those with like the movies and they're so damn cool oh yeah and the bleach soundtrack just keeps getting progressively more badass like just go listen to the Hellverse soundtrack it just blows you away how badass yeah. 
yeah. And I, I, and um, I love the openings. Opening one, two, three. I even like number four and yeah. number nine. I love. I cannot. I can't think of any Bleach opening that I remember watching. I, I remember a few endings that were kind of eh, but I can't think of any opening where I was just like, yeah, this doesn't really feel like a Bleach opening. They all, they all are bad. Rambu no melody. The fourth opening. The fourth. The fourth opening. The bounce opening. Uh. Th- that's one of my favorites yeah, I like tonight, tonight tonight tonight, tonight. Yeah, that's, that's actually one, one of my favorite ones yeah yeah it's it's amazing Open, so, opening uh, three is my favorite i, I love that one because oh yeah you, ichi no hana yeah, you, yeah you that's guys, a really good one you guys yeah. could probably tell with like the emo hair and yeah they like my rock music <laughs> and that. so yeah that's, that's yeah just me. yeah my favorite is probably uh after dark it's the one where they go to wake up window that's a really yeah good one. i like obviously rambu no melody yeah, that's a really amazing that's one. That's a good one. They're all so good. They, change is good. Like they're all so good. Yeah, exactly. Um, so my favorite ending my favorite ending is Stay Beautiful. It's the one where they show the different characters in New yes. York City. And it's just like, yeah, I like that that it's a really upbeat kind of ending. Yeah, that is yeah. that is a good one. So um yeah, Tekken, have you got anything else you'd like to add on before? Uh, not particularly. I mean, I'm doing the Espada series right now on my channel. Uh, Zomari's video is going to be coming up this week, or, or maybe Nelly L's. And then uh, after after the Espada series is done, which, by the way, I started the Espada series. I didn't know. This was before the announcement came out that Bleach was coming back. I just wanted to do the Espada series. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay, that, t- that timed up pretty well. Um, but then after that, I'm planning on doing the Fullbringer series. Hey, uh, talking yeah, that, about the Fullbringers. That's so, going to yeah. be awesome. Yeah, so, um, yeah, 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 as you guys know, you know Tekken is. Go check him out if you don't. But come on he's known as the bleach guy that's what he was uh, was thanks for having me yeah no no problem thank you for joining me once again hopefully we'll do some more collabs in the future like obviously we mentioned about the one with one piece like when it actually gets a bit more into the actual battles themselves and seeing some more stuff that we've been finding out but we can talk about that at you know the next collab that we do i suppose at some point awesome cool all right so um with that being said guys we're gonna leave it there if you like anything that we had to say and you enjoyed this video please give us a big fat thumbs up we'd greatly appreciate that let us know down in the comments below are you excited for the bleach return of course you are let us know why make sure to subscribe to my channel subscribe to techins and yeah we'll see you guys for another video until then see ya signing out see ya everybody